Good morning, church. It's uh, kind of interesting times. If you listen too much to the news and media, it seems like our world is uh, crashing down around us. And so this morning, I just want to bring a message of encouragement. Uh, we're going to be in Philippians chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We need to make sure that as Christians we are being reasonable. We need to make sure that we do not give in to fear and panic. We need to make sure that we are doing our part to still spread the gospel, even in uncertain times. We can't let anxiety creep in. Instead, we need to be going to God in prayer continually. With thanksgiving, we need to present all of our requests to God. We all know people who are frightened. We all know people who are just having a hard time. And we need to make sure that we are doing what we can to spread God's love and God's peace because he will give us peace. And he will give us the peace that only he can provide. And when you continue in verse 8 of Philippians chapter 4, Paul writes, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's anything excellent, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. We need to be focusing on the goodness of God and the great things that he has provided for us. We need to remember that in all things, God is good. Titus chapter 3, starting in verse 1, Paul writes, Remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Christ our Savior, so that being justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Again, it sometimes seems like the world is crashing down around us, but we know that God is good. Right now, we need to trust people making decisions that might be unpopular. And they're hard decisions. I, I can't believe that any of the decisions that have been made recently have been made lightly. I know that it's difficult to be a Christian on a Sunday morning and not be gathered with other Christians. But I know that decisions to postpone our assemblies was not a decision that was made lightly. It was a decision that came with lots of prayer, with lots of heartache. But the other thing that Paul writes in Philippians is that we need to be on the lookout for any chance to do good. We need to look for every opportunity to do good, to show God's love to others. So what does that look like? It means looking out for other people. Many of us have elderly neighbors. Knock on their door. Ask if you can go to the grocery store for them. This virus that is going around is worse for those who are elderly or those who have underlying health conditions. So if you have elderly neighbors and you are young and healthy, offer to go to the store for them. Offer to go out for them so that they can stay in and stay safe. Offer to bring someone food who's in need. Be nice to people at the store. Maybe don't buy all the toilet paper. 
It's not hard to do good things. We just need to be a little bit more aware of ourselves, our surroundings, and our attitudes. Our world needs Jesus right now. People are panicking. And we can help just by showing them the love that Jesus has shown us, the love that God has shown us through Jesus. You see, the peace that God gives us is a peace that we can show to the world. Right now, we need to be the hands of, and feet of Jesus in our community, showing them what it means to be reasonable, showing them what it means to be kind, to be loving, to be gentle. Doing these things will not make us righteous, but it will show the righteousness of God to our community that needs God more than anything right now. So my encouragement, go out of your way to be kind. Go out of your way to be helpful. Show Jesus to your community right now. Let's close with a word of prayer. God, thank you so much that you love us. Thank you for being good and righteous and just. God, I pray that you will help us show your goodness and your love to our communities right now. I pray that you will give us the courage to help others right now, Lord. God, I pray that when people see us in our community, that they will say there is someone who's been changed and they will wonder what has changed them and they will ask and we will have the courage to say, I've been changed because of the love of God. I've been changed because of what Jesus did for me on the cross and I have decided that I'm gonna follow him and that I am going to do his good work and that we would be willing to spread that message everywhere we go. We pray all this in Jesus' name, amen.